Look how small I look. Brow, brow, brow. What's up? Hello there. Today we're going to be talking about this channel. It's called Troom Troom. They've got almost 20 million subscribers. And it's a great channel. They make a lot of videos about life hacks or pranks or even some crafting. We all love that. A lot of their videos are very specific and seem to help specific problems that people come across. Here are some examples of some newer videos that they've made. Bad mum versus good mum slash 11 funny situations. Alien at college slash eight DIY weird college supplies. That one seems useful. Or even zombie on vacation slash 11 summer zombie ideas. You know, just in case you're a zombie. So recently Disney announced that they're gonna be releasing the new live action remake of Mulan on their streaming service, Disney Plus. And because of this, some people have been saying that this is the new future. People are gonna have the option of paying for new movies and watching them in the comfort of their own home, which could mean that cinemas won't be as popular anymore and that a lot of people wouldn't be going to the cinemas as often. And it got me thinking that, that I would absolutely hate that. that. Imagine the cinemas not existing. Going to the movies is a great time. You know, spending the night in town, you know, maybe going for dinner and then finishing your night with the newest box office hit and having some of that warm buttery popcorn oh. and this brought back a lot of memories of when I used to go to the cinema before we were stuck at home not only would I be excited to see the newest film I used to always try and bring in snacks you know be a bit cheeky and bring in some food you know hide it in your little your little bag but those damn workers would always catch me and they wouldn't let me in the cinema because I'd be sinking in food but praise the lord I am in luck Troom Troom have posted some videos and some tips and some hacks of simple ways to try and sneak in food so those pesky workers don't stop you from coming in. So I wanted to take this opportunity to learn together and see how we can exactly sneak in our favorite food. This first video is called 15 movie theater pranks slash funny ways to sneak snacks into the movies. So not only are we gonna find out how to sneak snacks in, they're gonna be fun. And I'm all about that fun. An expecting mom came to watch a movie, but you can't trick the security guard. So in this video, there are several people who try to sneak in their favorite snacks past this security guard. Let's check if you are smuggling food. Just like this lady who disguises herself as pregnant, but really, she has a damn burger in her stomach. So the security guard's like, um, you're hiding a burger there. Do you have a burger instead of a child? But she tricks him into thinking that her burger is her baby. This is my baby, and his father is also a burger. She even shows him a picture of the father, who is also a burger. Ha! Ah, I see. You must be a very modern family. Come in. And the security guard's just like, oh, your, your burger's the baby. Right this way, ma'am. It's time for the burger to be born. Mmm, yummy. Oh my God, did she just eat her child? Then this next guy tries to sneak in cereal into the cinema, as you do. This guy came ready to watch a shark movie. He showed up wearing goggles so he could see underwater. Hmm. And the security guard's like, hmm, this guy does look suspicious and he does have milk inside of those goggles and he does have cereal in the milk inside those goggles. Hmm. Seems fine to me. The security guard didn't notice. Then the next girl tries to sneak in Skittles by gluing them on the inside of her top. And this time he realizes. A rainbow on the body is a sign of hidden Skittles. And he's had enough. I can't be nice to visitors oh. like this. Look how angry he is. Everyone snuck food in again. Well, look out visitors. You are gonna regret it. Wait, what's he gonna do? He was pretty angry. What's he gonna do to all these people? He's not gonna kill them, is he? You're so clumsy. Take this. Oh, he just decides to hook this guy with a fishing line and make him slap himself. So he's just gonna prank people in the cinema while they're watching their movies, right? That's all he does. I guess that's a good way to go about it. Shouldn't it be working? So he goes on a pranking rampage and pranks all these people that are sitting in the cinema trying to watch their goddamn movie that they paid for. But he's like, fuck it, I'm gonna prank these people. So he keeps pranking people like this one. He ties the whole row's shoelaces. The security guard ties the shoelaces on all the moviegoers in the first row while they are distracted. Again. As you do. I also don't know how they don't realize him just slide across their feet. And they stack it, obviously. But it's not over yet. A final fall. <laughs> and then he ruins these two people's 3D glasses. Hey, what's wrong with our glasses? Hmm. I can't see anything. Which I guess is a prank, but like... What? If I was these people, I'd be like, what the fuck, man? We paid for these tickets and these glasses. But this poor guy just has to hold these folders that this girl had for some reason. Thanks, friend. 
It sucks to be him, I guess. I also love the sound effects in these videos. <laughs> Their laughs were perfectly in sync. <laughs> But the craziest one he does is turning this guy's coke into slime. I mean, just watch what happens. What's wrong with my coke? Mm. I can't drink it for some reason. Soda, where are you? <laughs> Ew, disgusting. Ew. Oh, worst. That moment when you go to drink your coke, but it doesn't come out through the straw. So you open the lid and instead of looking inside the cup to see if there's any drink, you just pour it on your face. I hate when that happens. When has anyone ever tried to drink from a cup like that? <laughs> to be honest, I feel like it's his own fault. This guy's copped it. First he was when he got hooked by the hand and started slapping himself. <laughs> Owned. Then he had to hold up the folders and he didn't get to enjoy the 3D movie. And now he's just poured slime all over his face. Why does he keep coming to this theater? You think he would learn? <laughs> Busted. Okay, that laugh is pretty terrifying. What are you doing? To be honest, he's got a nice smile. That Sweaty smile? Damn. So in the end, the security guard gets what he wants. The movie theater ghost is here! Help! Did that guy just kidnap Ryan Reynolds? Done! Now I can be nice again! Ah, finally! I've scared everyone out of the cinema, and no one will ever come back. Wait. What have I done? How will we make money now? Yeah, nice one, you idiot. You've terrified all the customers, and now no one's gonna come back, and now how's the business gonna make money? They're not gonna make any money. And who's gonna be out of a job? You. You're gonna be out of a job. Sorry. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened to me there. I think I just got so invested in a security guard. So we had a video about sneaking snacks into the cinema, which I think is pretty helpful, to be honest. As long as you don't have a security guard pulling pranks on you during the movie. But snacks aren't good enough for me. I wanna bring full meals into the cinema. I want fast food, baby. I want my damn happy meal while I'm in the cinema watching my favorite movie. So they made this one. 10 ways to sneak fast food into the movies. Let's check it out. What a cute girl. Sorry, you can't bring burgers and drinks. You'll pay for this. Okay, so this video starts out very weird and scary. This girl's upset she can't bring her burger in. So instead of like finishing the burger or just throwing it out or reacting any normal way a normal person would, she just destroys it in front of the security guard. And for some reason you can hear thunder, but he just shrugs it off. I'd be horrified that she's gonna come back and murder me with another burger. This sneaky father and son snuck in snacks so easily. Of course, no one would suspect a kid. Bill decided to copy this trick. So this mean mafia looking guy gets in because he shows his phone to the security guard. He must really like that phone. But the kid takes the piss out of this other guy. So he has to come up with an idea of his own to get his snacks in. I just have to hire an actor to play my son. Let me and my son in. We don't get to spend quality time together very often. Okay, so not only does the security guard see him talk to another guy like five meters away and whispering something very secretive, wonder what it could be, but he just looks at him and realizes He's an adult and he's on his knees, you know, pretending to be a kid. You gotta come up with something better than that, Chief. He's not like the other security guard who let a lady have a burger baby get in. Anyway. A cup of Sprite? Nothing unusual. Come in. But there is a secret. There is no Sprite in here. It's noodles. Why does this girl take out the noodles right behind him? That's so risky. What a beast. What a great idea. Bill also cooked instant noodles. Look, I have Sprite too. It's just regular Sprite. Can I come in? <laughs> this bottle is see-through, genius. I can see your noodles. You are not getting into the theater. So the same guy from before tries the noodle hack that the previous girl did. And he almost gets it right. He's so close. Oh my God, so close. But he just made one tiny teensy error. The bottle's see-through, you mong. And I'm not gonna lie, as much as I don't like their security guards, this guy absolutely finessed him. Did you see the way he rejected him? Well, see-through, genius. I can see your noodles. You are not getting into the- <laughs> No, that's fine. That's fine, come, come right through. <laughs> <laughs> you are out of here! Go out of here! Get the fuck out! Oh no, no, that's totally fine, totally fine. Come right through, right through this way. Here, fo follow me, follow me. This way, follow, follow, this way, here. This way, over there! Fucking wrecked. <laughs> I love that. I'm starting to like the security guard. Better than that stupid sweaty man. 
So in the next one, we see the same guy fail again. To be honest, he's not even trying anymore. Hmm? That was a hopeless attempt. Look, this security guard won't let people in with food. We need to hide our giant hot dog somehow. But these two try to bring in a massive hot dog and disguise it as their baby. That's a huge hot dog. What a sweet baby. Hi, cutie. My little baby. My sweet little treasure. Okay, surely this security guard can smell the hot dog. Oh, what a cute baby. Could you, could you, could you? Uh, ma'am, why does your baby smell like American mustard? Come in, young family. We are finally in. But he obviously lets them in and he's just like, ugh, babies. Wait, how did this guy get in? Wow, they're really going at it. Oh my God, they're eating their baby as well. The theater is showing a Western and Phil decided to come with his own horse. Sorry, you can't come in on horseback. You can buy a ticket for your horse. Come on, Phil. You know you're not allowed in the cinema with your horse. Your horse is allowed by himself, but you can't be in there with your horse. How did you not know that? Didn't you see the damn signs about horses? It's either you or the horse. Take your pick. Let's get out of here, Bucephalus. Wait, what was his name? Let's get out of here, Bucephalus. I'm sorry, what? Did she say syphilis? What a terrible name for a horse. To be honest, that's a terrible name for anything. But why a horse? Why is this Phil guy so weird and hopeless at getting things into the cinema? Out of here, Bucephalus. Okay, it's Bucephalus or something like that. But it definitely sounds like syphilis, so I'm gonna stick with that. Sad Phil says goodbye to his partner in crime. I'm so lonely. At least he has his cowboy hat with him. This guy's loving rejecting people. He's like, ha, those damn horses, damn syphilis. Now Cowboy Phil will be eating his nachos all alone. How sad, but his loyal horse won't leave him. You <gasps> syphilis, I've missed you. So our mate Phil manages to get his nachos into the cinema and somehow syphilis rocks up. Look how happy they are. Do you think Phil knows that syphilis is not a real horse? That he's just an inflatable horse? I don't think he does. Cindy outdid everyone. She made a whole pizza dress. Whoa, she gets in without any trouble. Guys, have some of my dress. Turns out fashion can be delicious too. What? Okay, just when I thought that this security guard was somewhat intelligent, he doesn't realize that this girl is literally wearing a pizza? Like a whole pizza. I mean, it's so obvious, but she gets in with no problem whatsoever. See, this girl's smart. Phil should have dressed syphilis in pizza. He could have had a syphilis pizza. Okay, saying that out loud doesn't sound as good. Cindy got dressed for the movies like it's the Academy Awards. Her pizza brooch is glowing. Whoa, what a beautiful lady. Let me kiss your hand. Welcome to my theater. Excuse me, it's an emergency. We are closing. Go to a different place. Okay, so this video ends with a girl just sticking a slice of pizza on her dress and the security guard is really into her. Mmm, damn girl. You're looking like a whole ass margarita pizza slice. Damn. So he tells the rest of the people lining up just to fucking book it so he can go back to that pizza slice girl. Mmm, damn. This movie date with pizza is only for the two of us. How romantic. Then the next scene, which definitely isn't weird, is just them on a date in the middle of the movie. And everyone in the back is just shocked and like, ugh, God damn it, paid for this shit. Except this guy here, who I thought wasn't allowed in before. He's just like, are they gonna fuck? So there you have it. We learned how to sneak snacks in, how to sneak mills in. But if you thought that was crazy, then you have no idea what's coming next. You have no fucking idea. Have you ever been to the movie theater and thought, man, I wish someone else was with me watching this plot twist movie by M. Night Shyamalan. What a twist! I wish my pet was here with me in the movie theater watching the movie with me. Oh look, 18 ways to sneak pets into the movies. Yes! Yeah, that's right. You didn't hear or read that wrong. There's a video about how to sneak pets into the movies that are for humans. And if you did hear or read that wrong, then that's your problem. There's nothing wrong with this. Go away. No, stay please. So let's have a look how we can sneak our pets into the movie theater. I'm thinking there's gonna be some great ways and some very sneaky ways to sneak our pets in because these security guards have been on their shit. Let's have a sus. Oh look, it's the security guard from the first video. Oh shit, they must have fired him. Oh my god, finally. That guy was causing way too much mischief. I don't like mischief, but I guess he still comes and watches movies like a normal civilian. He must have gotten on with his life. Good on him. Your ticket. 
What do you need a hat for? Yo, this hat is my lifestyle. Yo, yo, yo. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's, um... There is a lot going on in this first scene. Okay, I'll play it once more, just so we know what we saw. Your ticket. What do you need a hat for? Yo, this hat is my lifestyle. Yo, yo, yo. Wow, well, what? Okay, so the first guy goes in. Um, what was his name? Oh yeah, Phil. Fucking Phil. So he gets searched for anything he shouldn't have on him. When has a security guard at the movies ever body searched someone and then put their hands in their popcorn that the movies would have sold them to see if he had anything? But Phil isn't even bothered by this. He's just like, huh, that was weird. Can't wait to tell syphilis about this. Then this next girl hands her movie ticket to the security guard. And you know it's a movie ticket because it says cinema on it. And the security guard asks why she's wearing a hat. Bitch, what? But instead of responding like a normal person, she just starts dancing. She must have some sort of superpower that when she turns her hat to the side, anyone that's near her just starts dancing and rapping. This hat is my lifestyle. Yo, yo, yo. 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 Even the security guard gets in on it. Whoa, not bad. Oh, not bad. Fucking shit. God damn, this bitch is going off. Come out, cutie. It's your favorite part. But the security guard was right to be suspicious about the hat. Don't know why she was suspicious about the hat. But she was right. She has a damn mouse in her hat. What? Is she insane? Why would you want to bring a mouse to the movies? The mouse doesn't understand. Or is that a rat? Wait, isn't it a rat when it's outside of the house? Hey! Your ticket? Here! Your magician hat looks suspicious. What's so suspicious about that? Would you be so kind as to take it off? Sure! Look, it's empty. You're right. You can come in. See, I told you. What is the best place to hide a bunny? A magician hat. There you go, Fluffy. Oh, she had a rabbit in the hat. That rabbit looks terrified. Look at it. We look the same, actually. Put it here. What do you have there? Oh, vitamins for your pregnant wife. I love parsley, too. Oh, Phil got a wife. <laughs> Good on him. Wait, what happened to syphilis then? Please don't tell me. He must have actually turned him into a syphilis pizza. <laughs> Syphilis. I miss you, syphilis. That would probably sound really weird if that was taken out of context. Here are tickets. Oh, you were expecting. Okay, yeah, sure. She's pregnant. Yeah, no worries. I see the theme here. She's not going to be pregnant. I'm not buying this. Everyone that comes to this theater has something crazy going on for some reason. Let's see what she has in her belly. Honey, sit down. You must be tired. Come on. How can these adorable little babies make you tired? My fluffies. It's impossible to leave these sweethearts home alone. Oh my god, she had little ducklings in her stomach. They're so cute. Look at that one. It's a bit full of sleep. Wish I was that cute. So he obviously has forgotten about syphilis. Now Phil's got ducklings. Poor horse. Oh, what's in your hair? It's my stylish hair clip. Hmm, well, come in. Settle in, Clifford. Just be quiet. The weirdest thing about this one isn't the fact that she's brought a damn spider into the cinema. Why the fuck would you bring a spider into the cinema? It's the fact that... She's named the spider Clifford. What kind of name is that for a spider? Isn't Clifford a dog? Yeah, Clifford the big red dog. That ain't a spider, bitch. A giant spider! Save yourself if you can! Why did they get so nervous? Probably because your spider's named Clifford. Fucking idiot. Are these kittens? No animals at the movies. Fine. Abracadabra, we are going in. Kittens, sit down. And go! Ugh, I hate it when my friends are cats. That's so annoying. Ugh. To be honest, I'd be very annoyed if I was this chick. Why didn't my friends turn back into humans before we walked in? What, I had to hypnotize the security guard to get you guys in? Ugh. Hi, girls. What's this girl gonna say? Is she gonna meow or something? Meow. Oh, yep. Knew it. How stupid do you think I am, Troom Troom? Please don't answer that. A movie about the ocean? Hmm. I have an idea. Good afternoon. Here's my ticket. Were you just fishing or what? <laughs> oh, that's so good. Were you just fishing or what? Because he's got a he's got a fishing rod and a little fishing hat. <laughs> and she's like, were you fishing or what? Because <laughs> it was obvious that he was fishing. <laughs> were, were you fishing or what? That's so good. <laughs> so good. It's important to successfully toss your lure. Got it! Pull! Get it! 
fish. Okay, I have a few issues with this scene. First of all, it's Phil, so that fucking annoys me already. Also, what on earth is this guy eating? Is he eating grass? Oh, he must be a rabbit. That witch from before must have turned him back into a human. That makes sense. And this other guy's trying to pop Phil's shoulder out. Leave him alone, bro. Now that's what I call full immersion. We had a great fishing trip this time. I have never had a catch like this before. And he catches a mermaid? How did he do that? She's just like, eh, as long as this guy doesn't own a horse. And here's our movie. We'll go in and watch our favorite film. Oh, are these snails? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. When I first watched that, I had absolutely no idea what was going on. But just in case you didn't get it, she's holding a damn snail. And for some reason, the narrator is talking slowly as well. Favorite film. How powerful is her snail? Fucking hilarious. Oh my God, she's not gonna put it on her face, is she? But sucks to be this girl. Because of the damn snail, she misses the whole movie. Is it the end already? We are late again. That's what you get, you dumb bitch. I can't leave my baby even for a moment. Did I hear barking? Where's the dog? Hmm. I guess I was wrong. Go ahead. Did your baby just bark like a dog? Nope. Huh. Never mind then. Crazy baby, man. Did you hear barking by any chance? Did you hear barking by any chance? Listen, lady, I just want to watch my fucking movie. Can you let me in? All right, fine. Jeez. Baby Fru-Fru, we did it. Here we are at the movies. Oh, it was a dog. She just pranked my dick off. Fuck. Here's my ticket. Go ahead. So for some reason, Harley Quinn goes to this movie theater as well. And if you thought that she looks too normal to be here, then you'd be absolutely right. Come out, my friend from Madagascar. You'll like this movie. She brings a fucking cockroach into the movies. Come on, man. A cockroach? Phil's loving it, though. It's so nice to the touch. But I wouldn't expect anything different from him, to be honest. Hello? Is this pest control? There's a giant cockroach here. Come right now. Where's the cockroach? I'll take care of it. Come on. He won't hurt anyone. Look how cute he is. Aw, so cute. Well, it's not actually that terrible. Watch the movie instead. So one of the girls calls pest control and it's just the security guard who rocks up in a hazmat suit. And instead of coming and doing a job and killing, killing the fucker, Harley's just like, oh, but look how cute he is, the little, the little roach. And his security guard's just like, oh, oh, well, I guess he is a little cutie. I was well to sit here. Sick movie, by the way. Raul, would you like to watch this movie with me? Raul, would you like to watch this movie with me? Oh, uh, lady, I'm a fucking turtle. I don't know what a movie is. So yeah, this girl brings a turtle to the cinema. What? And the turtle's name is Raul. What's up with all these animals and their weird names? First we had syphilis, and then we had Clifford, and now Raul? What is going on? What kind of movie theater is this? My ticket is in the pocket. Hang on, is that a burger? With a turtle? You can't bring your own food. No exception. Hang on, is that a burger with a turtle? I like how she can perfectly tell that there's a damn turtle in her burger. But she's just like, you can't have food in the cinema, lady. Oh yeah, because that's the problem here. Not that she has a damn turtle in a burger. What's wrong with these people? I don't know who's crazier here. Okay, I think I'm done with these. I'm getting sick of it. So those are some tips if you want to sneak your pets into the movie theater. <laughs> You know, why on earth would you do that? And I think some of these really were eye-opening and I learned some stuff and I think I'm gonna take this on board. But I don't think these people have the right mentality. They're just amateurs. I think this is how you gotta do it. Oh, I can't wait to see the new M. Night Shyamalan movie. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Ah! Good day, sir, welcome. May I see your ticket? Sure, here it is. Thank you. Oh, this movie's gonna be so good, Chlamydia, I can't wait. Hey, wait a second, is that a dog? This is a movie theater. You can't bring pets in here. Uh, no. Oh, well it looked like a dog. Hmm. Okay, you can go through. Okay, thank you. You are welcome. Oh man, this burger's gonna be so good. Well, hold on just a minute. Is that a burger? You can't bring food in here. Uh, no. Huh, that's weird. It sure looked like a burger. But now it doesn't. Hmm. Okay, well, enjoy your movie, sir. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. It did look like a burger. <laughs> Oh, the perks of being a security guard at the entrance of a movie theatre. <laughs> Wait, that was a burger. Hey, come back, you. So there you go. That's how I would do it. I think it's foolproof, to be honest, because I'm a fucking legend. So I hope you enjoyed that. We learned some great ways how to sneak some food and some 
pets into the movie theater because that's what we want. We want our pets to be in the cinema with us. That's where animals are meant to be, you know, just fucking eating your popcorn and shit. I think that's enough for one day. All I have left to say is don't forget to bring syphilis when you go out. And also, whoever's been drinking my cordial, can you like stop it? It's really annoying me. I have no cordial left. So stop drinking my cordial, bitch. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, and one more thing. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <sighs> Bye.